Hello, my name is Poncella and welcome to my channel. This is the recap for the Tonight's Queen Sugar, episode 7, I believe, for October 26, 2021. So we see Darla and Ref Angel outside, and they happen to be in front of the police station. And Ref Angel has decided, because the police has been looking to see him or talk to him, that he is going to turn himself in and give his side of the story of what happened um, the other night when he and Theo stole some items from the property from the Landry's. I don't understand how Nova could have done it. Maybe she was really tired when she was released from jail. But this is the aftermath of the damage that the police officers did when they went to her home to arrest her. So I called Charlie, Charlie, Charlie calls uh, Nova to let her know that she wants the family to get together and to discuss what they're going to do about Ref Angel's situation. And Nova is scared because she's thinking about what happened to her, but she promised that she would be there um, to support. Now, I don't know why Charlie said they were going to be at the police station. But that ended up changing. But again, Nova is looking at the mess that she has to clean up from the police officers. Now, uh, what's this child's name? Micah and his friend were in a classroom and his professor passed by who was his previous lover. She stops by and she talks to him and he tells her, that he's working in his presentation for the next couple of days when they meet up in class. And she's like, well, I can't wait to hear your presentation. And she walks out. Um, Billy and Mr. Prosper are talking. And of course, he is letting his daughter know that he really has enjoyed her time there. But Billy is like, dad, you know, it is time for me to get back to my life in Chicago. And he is like, well, I really wish you could stay. Your kids are grown. Um, I could still use you here. That way we could, you know, continue to build up on our relationship. It makes her feel good that her dad really loves her and wants her around, which she doubted for all these years. That's why she has stayed away so many years. But of course, family is family. A parent is your parent. Uh, Hollywood calls while they're talking. He wants to inform him about Ref Angel, and he tells him, you know what, I got something I'm dealing with myself, Ref Angel, about my life, Hollywood. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we'll talk later. So Charlie is there with Darla waiting for Ref Angel to be released from the jail cell. And while they're waiting, Darla was asking Charlie what is the probability that Ref Angel won't have to do any time. And Charlie is like, I really don't know if that is a true possibility. It looks like everything is stacked up against him. But we'll do our best, Darla. We'll do our best. Here comes Ref Angel. He sees the two ladies waiting for him. He's happy, I'm sure. But he's also feeling guilty because he's caused them grief for what he thought was best for his family. Darla gives her husband a hug. And he's asking Charlie... You know what? What's the possibility I can get off? And Charlie does not. What is it? She just shoots it out straight that, you know what? If you had told me some information before this happened, maybe we could have worked something out. But right now, 
your situation is looking very bleak. And, of course, Ref Angel is like, you know, I was just trying to help my family. We had all of these bills coming up due. We didn't have the money. I didn't want to beg and barf or ask you for the money. I want to stand on my own two feet. So the family decides they gather at Charlie's home instead of at the police station, which I think is the right thing to do. Do it in private. Don't do it at a public place. Hollywood is a man, man. He got up and told Ref Angel, do you did the crime. Now you may have to do the time. You stole from those people, not just the people, you stole from a white man. And you know, we are living in the South and they don't play. Even in 2021, it is still racism. It'll never go away. Everybody's looking really upset with Ref Angel, but he's family. They love him, but they got to give him tough love. He's not a child. You have to let him know, yes, you did wrong. Now you're going to, unfortunately, lose the farm that your daddy worked so hard to provide for you kids. But we're going to be there. Uh, Billy is talking to her dad, Mr. Prosper, and they are reminiscing. But it's not a good reminiscing, but she was like, you know, Dad, I really thought I had some support. I told Mom what Jimmy was doing to me, and she told me, it's the way you dress. You deserve what you got. So Hollywood goes with Vi to meet with, you know what, I can't remember this man's name. But anyway, it's the Landry dude. And she's making demands. You owe me, you owe me. We go way back. And he shows her, well, we have proof. Now, good thing Ralph Angel did turn off some of the security uh, cameras, but we had backups, and it turns out that Theo, Ralph Angel's friend from jail, was setting him up, so he doesn't he doesn't get charged for anything in this case. The only way that uh, Ralph Angel can get out of this mess is to give the farm to the Landrys. There's no other option unfortunately and so they walk away with that now uh, Micah does his presentation his professor is impressed but she has some questions and she wanted Micah's feedback he didn't buckle he spoke clearly and honestly with his points and she basically said, you did a very good job. Thank you so much. But now she thinks she's going to get another row in the hay with him. And he tells her, no, I've changed. And you get none of this. And he did her right. Now, again, the family is talking and letting Ralph Angel know, listen, dude, the only option you have in this is to give up the farm. And Ralph Angel is like, no, no, this can't be the only option. Yes, I do not want to go back to jail. Can y'all understand? I was doing this for my family. I can't be a man and ask you guys to give me money to bail me out. But again, a man like Hollywood has to speak to another man and really make him see the errors of his ways. The tears come down Ref Angel's face. You get no sympathy points, Ref Angel. You foolishly did something that could have really hurt your family more than losing the farm. So Ref Angel returns to the farm. He goes in Blue's room to reflect on what he's done. So he calls Blue's mobile phone. Unfortunately, Blue is not available. But Ref Angel lets him, uh, leaves him a message. 
Let him know that he is so proud of him and to continue to do his great work at the school. Darla overhears him and you know what? She's fed up. She's not leaving him, but she's going to let Ref Angel know, even though I'm here to support you, how dare you disappoint me this way? And now we don't know what we're going to do. Charlie arrives. Nova doesn't want to let her in, but she goes ahead and lets her in and let her see the damage that she has from the police coming in, barging in with supposedly a warrant and end up taking her to jail. And at that moment, Charlie realizes she is in a political position, but she's not in a position that grants her power to really make a difference in the lives of her family and in the lives of the residents for St. Joe Parish. So she plays, or I guess she's twisting Nova's hair as they are conversating, letting her know, you stay strong, my sister, stay strong. And Nova says, I will, I will. All right, Billy is bringing a meal to her dad, and she tells her dad, Dad, you know, I'm not a cook. If it's not good, don't uh, keep it inside. Let me know. He tells her, it's really good. So this is going to be the last, probably the last time we see Miss Celine, who is meeting with Vi, who has been nothing, nothing but a friend to her, giving her a place to stay for she and her son Gabriel, sheltered from an abusive husband, giving her money to put in her pocket, food to eat, and this witch decides to hit on her husband? Uh, how low can you go, Celine? How low can you go? And, you know, Vi tells her, you know, I've done all I can for you. I wish you and your Wonderful son, Gabriel, the best in life, but I'm done. Charlie has thought about it. She makes a call and she lets um, the man know. I don't remember his name or his position, but he's one of the people who is asking her to run for, I think it's a seat in Congress. They don't know if it's going to be for the state of Louisiana or possibly California because I guess uh, Charlie has dual citizenship for both states. But Charlie says, you know, I really need a position that gives me power. And I'm ready to accept the offer. Now, there's a vehicle approaching the farm. And I'm sure Ralph Angel is aware who it is. And, of course, it's Landry. He gets out. And he says, good day. And so, basically... Rap Angel's like, yeah, 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 I don't care about your dad. You don't care about mine because I'm going to have lost my dad's farm. You know, get the paperwork done so that you can get uh, possession of the farm. And he's like, okay, you got 45 days before you need to vacate the property. So he gets back in his vehicle and he drives off. So Rap Angel decides to look at the land that he was blessed with from his dad, hard work. But he vows, this is not over. This is not over. So we just have to, of course, wait and see how this turns out. So thank you very much for your time and watching and listening. And until next time, stay blessed and keep your heads up.